Kamala Harris screams I want nothing to do with you as Trump exposes her big lie. Senator Kamala Harris, DCA, has her sights set on running against President Donald Trump in 2020. The California Democrat has already begun her secret campaign, but she just shot herself in the foot. In a private phone call between the president and Miss Harris, she started screaming, I want nothing to do with you. Well, Harris is now freaking out after President Trump just exposed the big lie she didn't want anyone to know. Don't miss this. Those elected to serve we the people should always remember that they are in Washington, D.C., to work with the president, not to cater to their own political whims. Sadly, Kamala Harris has made a name for herself by grandstanding during Senate hearings as she attacks every nominee President Trump puts forth. Harris attacks are rude and without any merit. She cares nothing about finding common ground with Trump. In fact, she puts on quite a performance, lying and berating a good man like Justice Neil Gorsuch or a patriot like CIA Director Gina Haspel when they were up for confirmation. Harris made a clown at herself as she attempted to play the morality card with Gina Haspel, a lifelong CIA agent who put her life in jeopardy after 9 11 to track down Osama bin Laden. So, it shouldn't shock anyone to find out that Senator Harris refused to do her elected duty when President Trump called her on the phone. The president placed calls to every senator on the Judicial Committee ahead of his announcement of his choice for a new justice for the Supreme Court. Trump wanted input from every senator, and that phone call was welcomed by every single sitting senator on the judiciary but one, Kamala Harris. This is a huge deal and a dereliction of duty. Making matters worse is what Harris told her staffers to scream at Trump. The junior senator from California screeched at her chief of staff, Nathan Branken, tell him, we want nothing to do with him. Fox News reports, Senator Kamala Harris' office bluntly rejected a courtesy call from the White House in the run-up to Monday's Supreme Court nomination, according to a senior White House aide. According to the account, the Democratic California Senator's office told White House Counsel Dongan, We want nothing to do with you. Fox News adds, The Senator's office has since denied saying that. Asked about the claim, her office confirmed that the Senator's chief of staff, though not Harris, spoke with Dongan aide, but denied the quote. However, according to the White House, the brusque response came as Mgen reached out to each Senate Judiciary Committee member to discuss the Supreme Court confirmation process. Fox News is told Harris' office was the only one to reject the discussion. Why the big lie? Why would Harris freak out? Why doesn't she just confirm that she basically told Trump to go to hell? Because this proves she is just a hack, refusing to do her job. It proves she has no respect for the office of President of the United States. It proves she isn't a humble civil servant who can put aside her own personal hatred and work with her adversaries. What's more, it proves she is not presidential. And, she can't afford to not look presidential. Twitchy reported, Kamala should just admit Trump could have nominated Garland and she would still work to block him. This is not about the SCOTUS, this is about how much she hates Trump. That's all it really is for the left at this point. Harris wasted no time quickly condemning Trump's SCOTUS pick of Brett Kavanaugh. There is no way she did her due diligence in researching Kavanaugh's over 300 opinions while serving on the D.C. Court of Appeals. Twitter user Ryan Cummins weighed in, tweeting, H.R. rejection of the Trump call shows just how seriously she takes her job as a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. In response, Greg tweeted, so she is not willing to hear the nominee or research his more than 300 judicial decisions. She is doing a disservice to her committee and her country. If this liar and panderer Kamala Harris is the best the Democratic Party has got to run against President Trump, I say bring it on. She's a disgrace. Her sketchy background and affair with former San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown, who was 60 and married when she was just 29, launched her political career. Now, she's screaming about respect for women. Twitter user The B. Smith tweeted, Kamala Harris had an affair W. Willie Brown, then CA Assembly Speaker and later SF Mayor. Fine. But Harris came out publicly as his date at his 60th birthday party, despite his wife of 36 years being there.
and she talks about respect for women? Hash starts at home. Kamala Harris cares nothing about America. She cares nothing about women. She will back any leftist cause if she thinks it will further her career. She's running scared now that her dereliction of duty is being exposed. Her only trick left is grandstanding and lying. The Democrats have evolved into a pathetic pack of rats with Kamala Harris as their so-called shining star. Let them nominate her in 2020. Trump will wipe the floor with liberal tears as Harris.